Hi, my name is Joe. The PoE is limited to about 300 feet. If the distance between the IP camera and PoE anywhere is beyond 300 feet, we need to use the PoE extension, otherwise the signal will start dropping. Adding this PoE standard at the end of the cable can get you another 300 feet, totally you got 600 feet. Usually the PoE standard is being deployed at the middle between these two. So we can bury it underground or put it on the sky. But there's some challenge if there are any problem come up with the system. We may need to dig it up or get it down to finals, which part goes wrong. Is there any solution we can just have the continue run between the camera and the PoE NVR? Yes, but we may need we need to have another PoE standard. When these two working together, we've got 1,000 continuous runs. So we can place one next to the PoE NVR and the other next to the camera. Between these two, we just got the cable. Let's make a quick setup and see how it works. This is the 1,000 feet Ethernet cable, it's a CAF IE. So first, I'm going to remove the cap from the PoE standard one, the first one. There's tricky thing to make the whole system set up. We need to flick the first one. What's, what's that supposed to mean? You see, we got A and B. Usually A is getting the data and power from the PoE NVR. B is sending to the out. It's input output. But for the first one, we need to flick. Flick that means the B is facing to the recorder and the A is facing to the camera. But the second one, we don't need to flick. Just use the original direction. So inventory, we got two A facing to the A. You see the first one, you need to flick. The second one doesn't need to flick. That's the tricky part. Okay, also need to use the short punch code to link the PoE NVR to the first PoE extender. I just got one of the port and connect to the port number, port B. And from here, I got the cable for the 1000 run, continue run. Okay. And the other end, I also go to the, now here is the A, connecting the cable from the PoE NVR. And now I need another short punch code to link the PoE standard, the last one, last one, and to the camera. Now once I plug in, I can hear the motor is running. This is motorized zoom camera. It will take a while before we can see the live video on the monitor. And it may get in fuzzy at the beginning. Let's see still. Now I think we are getting the live. But it's quite fuzzy because its motor is still zooming out to find the best focus. You see, the beautiful thing is we have nothing but just cable between these two PoE standards and the maximum distance is about 1,000 feet. You can bury this cable without any concern. Now it's working pretty well with the, I think, yes, see in the live video, let's move a little bit, get the best focus. Now it's working with the IP camera. Is it working with just the like, uh, router? You see, this router doesn't need the power, it just share the internet. We'll try to find out in the next video. Thanks for watching.